What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Uh, today's Expanded Thursday, and was it two weeks ago, last week ago, I made a poll asking what Expanded decks people want to see the most uh, with Guardians Rising, and then a lot of people voted for Don Fan. Now, with Don Fan, there's probably like, I don't know, like a billion different ways you can build this deck, and uh, today I went with like the more standard classic build. There are some people play it saying playing like the Evolutions build with like Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon, that kind of stuff. So you're here for weakness, but today we're not going to focus on that. And um, one thing you can also do with this deck is play Regirox, so you spend a turn does more damage, but it's only boosted by 10, so they're really not worth it as well. But today we're going to go over this Dawn Fan deck and see... Is it still really good? I mean, we haven't seen this deck compete at all, and I'm scared to play this. Oh, uh, man, we'll see what it's like. So, Donphan. It has 130 HP. That's whatever. Uh, but its attack is going to be spinning turn. does only 40 damage, but we have, of course, some ways to manipulate this damage. Uh, and then Wreck does 80. And there's a stadium card to play this attack. does 60 more damage, so 140, but you discard the stadium card. It's kind of, it's just like Lugia, basically. All right, so that's going to be our main attacker. Well... We have Fafi with the tackle and rollout. I mean, if you're using rollout, something crazy has gone bad. And we have Halucha. Halucha has ability Shining Spear. It makes it where it does not hit for weakness or resistance, but it has attack Flying Press. It does 60, and if your opponent's active Pokemon isn't a Pokemon EX, this attack does nothing. So uh, back when Halucha was a thing, you're like, all right, I'm a basic Pokemon, but I'm not EX, I'm good to go. But now if you're a GX Pokemon, or a not a EX, you're good to go. So that's the only unfortunate thing about Halucha. You can't do d damage to GX Pokemon, which is, oh man, I hate I hate when like old cards like kind of get errated. And that's basically what we're seeing here with Halucha. But still, we're gonna have it in there. And it has that free treat and still can attack EX Pokemon like Shaman and stuff like that. Now speaking of Shaman, of course we have one Shaman in the deck and one Tapu Lele. It's kind of like a situational kind of thing for sure. And especially with the two stretchers, you can reuse them later on if needed. But one computer search for consistency, uh, you know, discard two cards, search deck for any card. Three love balls, so that we can uh, search deck for more fanfies and haluchas. We'll go over that here in a second. Two stretcher, three love ball might be too much now that I'm thinking about it. I might cut one for a letter. There's a, like, a, like a ton of different th ways you could build this deck. And uh, playing not a letter is probably one of the bad ones that we didn't do. And not playing a super rod. Probably playing one super rod, one stretcher would be a little better to get our back our fighting energies if needed. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> two stretcher, uh, three rebel sub. You put this down and it's basically a 30 HP big colors Pokemon. But if they knock out, they don't take any prize cards. So what you kind of want to do is you want a spinning turn to robo sub. And when they knock out robo sub, they don't take your prize card. Then you can spinning turn again and just keep building up damage that way. Three Ultra Ball, so we get our fan fees, you know, any of our Pokemon basically, what am I talking about? Uh, four VSC can to reuse any supporter card, and three Fighting Stadiums. Fighting Stadiums, I make where you're fighting Pokemon and play, do 20 more damage, but it's only two EX Pokemon. So not only do we have Halucha that only hurts EX Pokemon, we have Fighting Stadium that only hurts EX Pokemon as well. So you can see why this deck's not going to do so well in a very GX heavy format. Uh, two cores. Because we're going to have a bunch of bitch Pokemon, hope our opponent will as well. And for Karina, which is the main engine of this deck, search deck for a fighting Pokemon and an item card to reveal them and put it into your hand. So with this, you can grab a Fanfy and a Love Ball to grab two Fanfys, turn one, which is really strong. I definitely should have a letter in here, so you can, you can Karina for like a letter, get some fighting energies out that way. Uh, it's definitely... Like I said, there's a bunch of cards I want to add in here, and it's sometimes it's really hard to add them... Um, when you're kind of building the solo. Uh, two Lysander, bring a Pokemon off the bench. Two in, um, shuffle, prize card stuff, you know. Uh, three Juniper, discard your hand, draw 70 cards. Forget second more playing Juniper today. Uh, three Choice Band, so you're spending turn to do additional 30 damage to EX and GX. So remember that now. So we have a damage booster GX, so that's pretty good. So now spending turn can do four, five, six, seven. All right, uh, two choice pins. So if a fighting Pokemon is going to be knocked out and it has full HP, instead of being knocked out, it has 10 HP left. Or it has 10 HP left, and uh, you discard the Focus Sash. That's a really strong card. Uh, it just kind of makes it where your opponent has to dig a little bit more. Uh, maybe you have to two shot a Dawn fan, or maybe you have to play like a Megaphone or uh, a Field Blower to get rid of it. Four strong energy, so that you do 20 more to the active Pokemon. So now with a spinning turn, you do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to GX Pokemon, or 10, 11 to a non or to EX Pokemon, which is really strong. You can start two shotty Pokemon that way, which is really nice. Two DCE, 
Um, this is for Wreck. We really don't rely on Wreck too much. We definitely are more of a spinning turn base deck. And I uh, want to go out that way. And for Fighting Energy. And like I said, this, this deck's kind of weird. There's a bunch of like GX Pokemon in the game right now that people attack with. And it makes Donphan not so strong. But we're going to see, is Donphan still playable? I mean, I'm kind of nervous. Uh, Donphan died out a long time ago. But a lot of people did request Donphan to be showed off for an expanded Thursday. So we're going to show that off today. Uh, if you have any more suggestions for the deck, let me know down below in the comments. Make sure you check it out. Like I said, I'd cut a love ball for a uh, professor letter, stretch it for a super rod, and then maybe a license for a hex maniac, maybe a course for hex maniac. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's be the big changes I would play after testing this deck out. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and let's see the deck in action. Alright. Alright, so biggest Pokemon uh one playing an all dark deck, which is very interesting. Usually you see like dark with like colors and fighting and like other stuff. Like Archaeops would be really good to counter us, uh, make it where we can't evolve. We don't play any Wobbuffets or Hex Maniacs, so that's probably one downside of this deck. But we do start a Halucha, we got a Fanfy. Uh, oh, what, yep, we'll put down the Fanfy. We'll press that, and hopefully, maybe they'll start with the EX Pokemon, we can start using Flying Press. Ooh, fancy. Dark Claw, Fan Club, ooh, Dark Claw, oh boy. Instead of Muscle Man, we're seeing Dark Claw play today. It's a card that was before Muscle Man, before everything else, and, uh... Made made dark Pokemon really good, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we can Lele for like a Karina if we don't top deck one. Nope, that's not a Karina. We'll press done again. And there's good old Malamar. Now Malamar we can't hit for a uh, weakness, or we can't hit. Sorry. Oh man, if we had a Hex, what we could do is top your Lele, Hex Maniac, Choice Band, a Fighting Energy, and take a knockout with Flying Press for 90 times two is 180. That'd be really nice. But unfortunately, we can't do that here. But I think we're still fine. Uh, there's a Yavatal going to hand, okay? Good old Yavatal. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> looks like we are going to see a solo dark deck versus our F F Dawn fan deck. So, Chan going to draw three, okay? Don't know. Okay. Alright, whatever. Uh, Zora coming down, okay? Now, the Zora could be mint. It could be like the Brutal Bash or the Mind Jack one. I don't know which one they have in their deck. So Dark Energy active, uh, Halucha will go night night, and does Halucha stay asleep or not? So letter, I mean, it does, I mean, if if Halucha stays asleep, that's fine. We'll just put a fighting on the dot on the fanfy and still be a okay. Uh, we'll see two fighting just going their hand, and with Evatol, okay, so we wake up. All right, so now we have a choice. What do we want to do here? So I'm gonna Lele first. I am gonna Wonder Tag finding a Karina. Come on now, we have two Karina prize. Great. All right, so we'll put a Karina in our hand. We we'll use the Karina. We'll search for a Fanfy, and then we're gonna Love Ball for another Fanfy. So we're gonna have three Fanfys turn one. Uh, put down a Fanfy, Love Ball for another Fanfy, and the reason why I'm doing this is because it looks like next turn we are gonna Colrus. Uh, so put down a Fanfy, put a Fighters in the active, put a Choice Band. And right now we're going to Flying Press for 90 damage. Uh, we can knock out the Malamar next turn. We can maybe Chorus, hit a Dawn Fan, and a Fighting Energy, and Spinning Turn for the knockout. Really don't know who we'll Spinning Turn into just yet. I'll probably commit a Focus Ash on a Fanfy, and then Spinning Turn to it, and make where they can't take a knockout unless they play Tool Scrapper. Okay. Um, but right now we're going to Colors for 4 and hopefully, I mean Colors for 6 because we get 4 they get 2 so we sh hopefully we'll find something. Uh, we have Ultra Balls, there's a dark a Darkness Energy going to the active, putting our Hollow Lucha to sleep. And we're going to see a Maximar here, unless they flip double heads. Oh, a Pokemon Sterner Lady, killing that 60. Alrighty. I mean, well we can still take a knockout, so Maximar tells and it heads, so he will do 60 to us, okay. And on our turn, we wake up. Oh, how Lucha, you are being a hero right now. So we'll put a Choice Band, we'll put down a Silver Bangle, we'll play a Chorus, again six. Do we find a fan, a Dawn Fan plus a Fighting Energy? And we don't, unfortunately. So we'll commit a Fighting Energy on the Fanfy. Um, I'm just going to put down Robo Sub and retreat to it and just pass into our opponent's turn. Yeah. That's fine. So we'll just press dump to our opponent's turn. Because uh, next turn we Karina find a Fanfy and we get Spinning Turn for the knockout. Uh, unless he heals again. Hmm. Alright, so there's a Dark and you're going to Evatol, okay. There's a course. He's going to get six as well. Does he find a Zork maybe? Um. 
maybe a max elixir, maybe a dark patch, a dark claw. So this, ooh, this makes it where he has no weakness, right? Yeah, so now we have to find... Hmm. So now Malamar does not have weakness, unfortunately. All right, so there's a Maxmar, Tails, and Heads. We'll take a knockout on our Robo Substitute, but we'll not take a prize card for it. So we'll send up Hallucia. Now we're in a weird situation. What do we top deck? And there's a Fighting Stadium. Wow. Wow. All right, so Karina. Uh, with the Karina, we'll grab a Donphan. And I think we'll just grab another Robo Sub. Okay. So put down a Donphan. We'll put a, Ro uh, put a Fighter Joe in that Donphan. Put down the Robo Sub. Put down Robo Sub. We will retreat into the Dawn Fan and we'll spinning turn doing four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll send the Robo Sub to uh, do it 180 damage. Take the knockout, going out of four prize cards. So one to two, go in our hand. We find a Karina and a Karina. All right, so next turn, if we find a DC, we can go for Wreck, which do 150 uh, plus a Toy Span, 180 plus a Stadium, 200 minus 20, and we'll have a knockout. Unless he plays a Fighting Fear Belt. <laughs> Uh, so Dark Energy active, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. He can't knock out the Dawn Fan unless he has like a Dark Claw plus a laser. Oh, Dark Claw, there we go. Making it where he does additional 20 damage for a Dark Pokemon. He receives Professor Birch's Observation and Tell is only going to get four cards with that Birch, which is good for us. He will take a knockout, but once again, Robo -sub Substitute preventing that from, uh, preventing him from taking a prize card, which is great for us. And right now, we're just going to call ourselves, looks like for just, uh, six cards unfortunately but can we find a dc for the knockout we'll sit up halucha on our turn we find a juniper i'm just going to juniper this hand away and just hopefully we find a dc and take a knockout this turn and we do find a dc so we'll put down a dawn fan we'll put it on the focus ash one we'll put down a dc we will retreat into the dawn fan and we will wreck for the knockout do a 200 minus 20 so 180 100 and actually do 170 Hey, math wrong. Uh, 150. 150, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, yeah, it is 170. So I'm glad he had 170 HP because if he had 180, we would have uh, misdid the calculations there. I don't know why. I, I don't know. I don't know how I got 200. But we see a great ball going to the top seven cards of his deck. Does he find a Pokemon in there? Going to find a Zark. Right now, Mind Jack will do 3, 6, 9, 12. We'll do 130 exactly, which will knock us out. But if we find a Fighting Energy, well. Doesn't take a knockout. We need a strong energy to get a knockout. So we see a Zork coming down. Okay. We see a Dark Energy going to Zork. Um, does not have a DC. Rock Guard to the active. So we'll take 60 if we attack the Zork. <laughs> and we'll see a Birch hitting Tails. Only get four again. Back to back Birches. He, he risked get the Biscuit both times. He, uh, he failed it. Sorry, bud. All right. So Trainer's Milk. Look at tough cards of his deck. But I mean, as long as we find a strong energy, we can knock out Zark, be good to go. We also could just like wreck it next turn, which is not a bad play at all. But I think I'd rather go for a spinning turn and just saving the wreck for later on. Um, mm, we could play Love Ball, not grab anything, put down a Fighting Stadium, shame it for a couple, just trying to hit a strong energy to guarantee the win the following turn. Because as long as we find a strong energy this turn, this Dawn can knock out Zark, and that's, yeah, we'll be fine here. So pass onto our turn. We find H D C, E, which is not 20, 40, 60, 80. So I'm putting down a love ball. Um, not gonna grab anything. I'm gonna put down Fighting Stadium. Can we shuffle anything in the deck? No, we can't. So I get Shaman for one. And hope we get lucky or play an N. Or we can just lose it as Orc. There's a those all options here. I'm gonna go the riskier route. I'm gonna play Shaman. Draw one card and hope it hits a strong energy or a VS Seeker. And it's a Robo Sub. It's not a card I wanted. All right, so I think I'm just gonna license up the. Um, no, I'm just gonna play in here. Uh, he has four cards in hand. All right, so I'm gonna put a DC on top of Lele and play an in. All right, yes, that's fine. I know we get fewer cards, but we need to find some better. Okay, th that's better cards. Wow, we should, I mean, I was gonna say maybe we should have attached energy, but not shuffling the DC in the deck could have randomized it a little bit more. So we'll spin a turn. We'll send in the Hall Lucha. It's got the free tree. If it takes a knockout, so what? Uh, takes six, turn six damage because of the rock guard, and we get a VS Seeker. So as long <clears throat> as he doesn't end us, we have a strong energy. We can take a game with either Wreck or a Spinning Turn for the knockout. 
If he's got an energy, he can go for Mind Jack. Uh, there's a Dark Rock coming down, okay. Now, if Zoric breaks here, we could be in trouble. Because I think Zoric break has 140, and a Dolphin Spinning Turn would not take a knockout immediately. So, Dark Energy, Dark Rock, okay. There's a Dangerous Energy going to the... I think it's Dangerous, right? Yes, okay. And an N. So, we're going to go down to 1, but that is going to be the game. We're going to be able to wreck, and we're going to do, like, 380 damage. Unless he finds... This is a megaphone, okay, uh, getting rid of the choice bands and the focus sash and all that good stuff. Uh, E-hammer, oh, now we can't wreck. Okay, so we actually don't have the knockout anymore. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. So we're seeing my jack here. He's going to take a... Wow, those are some good cards to try to megaphone uh, plus everything else. So lucky helmet goes to the active as well. Oh, boy. It doesn't seem that bad, but it actually is, uh, Lucky Helmet's gonna let him draw some cards, right? Yes, yeah, so he's gonna draw some cards, okay. Alright, so instead of Dawn Fan, can we find a strong energy on our turn? We get a Halucha, so put down the Halucha. We will spinning turn, we'll take 20 damage because of the dangerous energy, okay. So do 80 damage, send it to Dawn Fan, take tw Oh, it's only for EXs, right? It's only for EXs. Oh man, only on EX Pokemon, so Donovan is safe. But he's still got life in here. But the thing about us putting the DC in the Zork, I mean the top of Lele, is we can knock out the Zork with a uh, energy drive. Okay. So does he have an energy plus a dark patch? If he does, he can swing a dark right this turn. And we still don't have an immediately knockout. We have to find a DC. So two dark energy go in his hand from the press letter. Does he have a dark patch? He has to retreat this turn. If he doesn't, then we just automatically win with a spinning turn. There's a dark energy attachment. Does he have a dark patch? There's a Lysander bringing up the Dawn Fan, and he's going to take a knockout here. But we have the top of Lele could take the knockout. And there we see Mind Jack doing 160. My opponent not realizing that we can win the game with top of Lele right now. Because uh, we can send up 24 to 60, 80. We'll send up Halucha. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll try to take a strong energy and take a knockout of Dawn Fan. And we get a fighting energy regardless. So uh, we'll just do the most damage we can. Let's put energy in this guy. Retreat. And we'll energy drive for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 100 damage. Yep, that's more than what Don Fan would have done. He gets two extra cards because the uh, the uh, the lucky helmet. But there we go. There's game number one. That one wasn't too exciting, but you kind of see how the Don Fan uh, deck went. There's man, there's a lot of cards we could have put in here. It's so weird to think how much stuff he could put in here now uh, compared to when we first played Don Fan, where you barely had anything. Well, I mean, even Don Fan back then had a bunch of stuff, but. That's the thing about Dawn Fan, you can, you can build it a, a billion different ways, but we'll see another game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully, it's another victory. All right. All right, so we get Master 24 Trainer. Ooh, they're playing a Psychic deck. This could be really bad if it's Garb... I mean, it might not be terrible if it's Garb Boater, because we kind of, like, streamline with Karina and stuff, so maybe we can, like, kind of cheat the system and make it where you don't play that many trainer cards. But we'll see. So we start... We actually have a pretty decent start. Got the Halucha Fanfy, so we can, like... I think we'll be okay here. I think we're fine. Um... And most are playing two in the discard pods of right now, so that's fine if it's Garboder. But we'll see. Maybe it's not Garboder. Well, there's an Eevee. Okay. Um, the thing about Eevee and Espeon is uh, Flying Press doesn't do anything because they're not a GX. That's the only unfortunate thing about Halucha nowadays. Oh, my goodness. They just passed. Well, unfortunately, we, we can't take a knockout. So, <laughs> uh, I'll put out Fighting Stadium, Ultra Ball, discard an Ultra Ball, and a Juniper. I kind of just want to grab like a... A Tapu Lele for a Karina. Um, so like I'm slowly realizing that like we didn't put a lot of stuff in this deck. Like we didn't put a uh, Professor Letter in here, so we can't Karina for Professor Letter. There's so much stuff you just need in this deck that I just forgot to include. So let's see. All right, so we find a DC, we find a Love Ball. So put a Halucha down. We'll put a DC on a bench, Fanfy. And we'll just pass to our opponent's turn, okay. So let's see what happens here. Do they have an Eevee? I mean, Espeon in hand. Uh, there's a there's a Psychic Energy top deck, so they'll be able to Energy Evolution for an Espeon. Um, Espeon can only confuse us, only doing 30, so I'm not too concerned about this. So there we go. We see the Espeon coming to line. Uh, right now we have three in the discard, so there's a Dimension Valley coming down, okay. Um, and a Psybeam for 30, okay. So Confusion will come online, and there's a Fight Energy. So, <clears throat> I'm going to Fight Energy on the Fanfy with nothing on it, really. Choice Band, Love Ball, 
for another fan fee. And we're going to coerce for four, trying to find a Dawn fan. If we can find a Dawn fan, we can start spinning turn here. And if not, well, we can just retreat to Halucha. And we don't, we don't find one. So we're retreating to the Halucha, and we'll just pass onto our opponent's turn. Unfortunately. All right. So under our opponent's turn, let's see what they get here. Man, there's no Karina. What's going on here? Uh, if he has a if he has a DCE, he could go for Divide GX, knocking out the Fafi, uh, or, 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 or an Energy. So we see an Energy going to this guy. Will we see a Divide this turn? He could go for Psychic for the uh, only does 60, so that's not a knockout. And here we see a Divide at GX. Gonna put eight damage counters on this guy, and maybe two on this Halucha, maybe two on this guy. Uh, if he puts two on this guy, it sets it up where he can Psychic for the knockout. All right, so gonna put eight damage counters in this guy. Yep, there's there's that knockout. Um, don't know why we didn't play. Oh, we had a course last time. That's why we didn't play Juniper. All right, so he's gonna put twenty on this guy, which which I think is irrelevant. I really think he should have just put the twenty on uh, whatever. So put a fighter G. Actually, I'm gonna stretcher to grab a Fanfy. No, uh, I'm kind of scared of this now. We're gonna put a bunch of item cards in discard pile. So put down a Fanfy. We'll put a fighter G on it. And we're going to VS Seeker for a S Juniper. <laughs> yep. And unless he can, we find a uh, Dawn fan. We purposely play four Karinas. And there we go. Hey, there's Karinas. So I'll put down a Halucha. Didn't mean to put that down. Um, wow. We evolved. Oh, my goodness. Josh, what are you doing here? You are messing up everything. So put down double Fanfy. <laughs> double Dawn fan. <gasps> oh, man. Retreat to Halucha and just pass. Okay. All right, so let's see. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he does he does one six now, Garboder. Yeah, when we put the Fanfy down the Fighting Energy, I forgot that you can't attack with it. Oh my goodness. All right, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So Nest Ball. Okay. So maybe he's only put Espeon. All right, so an Eevee coming down. If it's just a solo Espeon deck, we can easily take this down. Um, that's no problem. So see a psychic energy to the Espeon, or TEV. We'll see an Espeon coming out, okay. Because what we can do next turn is uh, Karina for a Don fan and a Choice Band. So Choice Band, okay, Choice Band's not going to matter. We don't have an EX or GX on the field. Um, so there's a Psychic for 60. These Hot Luchas, they're going to be tanking for a second. So we get an Ultra Ball. So I'm going to put a Strong Energy in this guy. Well, let's Karina first, see what's in the deck. All right, so yeah, we got a Dawn fan, and I kind of want to grab a Choice Fan, but I'm going to grab a VS Seeker. I really don't think he's playing a, um, a Garboder deck. All right, so put this down. We will retreat into the Dawn fan and spinning turn for 60. Uh, Sing the Halucha. Alright, so 60 damage. Send up Halucha onto our opponent's turn. Okay. Does he. Okay, so Lysander 679, 10, 11, 12. Lysander does not take a knockout. Okay. We see a Psychic Energy going to Espeon. We see a retreat to Espeon. Okay. That's free retreat. Oh, Mystery Energy gives a free retreat. And we see Psychic. Okay, doing 60. On our turn, we get a Level Ball. Okay. So I'm putting Energy in this guy. And I'm just going to VS Seeker for a second more. I'm just going to discard our hand. We really don't need anything else. I mean, for Juniper, sorry. So we're just going to Juniper, discard our hand, draw on seven new cards. Okay, so we get a Fighter Energy and a Focus Sash. So we'll put down a uh, that thingy. We'll put a Focus Sash on the Dawn Fan with the two Energies. Retreat. And Spinning Turn for 40. Um, it doesn't really matter which Halucha we send out, they're all going to be knocked out. So, we'll do, uh, 60, send up the Halucha onto our opponent's turn, okay? Alrighty, so, if we get a DZ, we can start using Rex. So, there we see a Skyla, let's see what he decides to grab here. Alright, so he can't use Psyche anymore, he has to go, oh, we should have sent up a, a Halucha with 30 on it, because that way he can't take a knockout unless he finds an energy, because Psybeam does not actually do anything to us. All right, what does he grab with the Skyla? But well, we're down all our VS stickers, right? Yeah, four VS stickers are gone, unfortunately. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, so let's see what he grabs with Skyla. Either way, he's got really two de heavily damaged uh, Espeons that can be knocked out. So there's another Dimension Valley coming down. He will be able to use a Psychic this turn if he wants to go that route. Okay. We got Robo, so we can put that down. Maybe spinning turn it. But I'm hoping as we find 
a DC and go for a wreck for the knockout. So there's Psychic for the knockout. He could have gone for Confusion, or Side Beam, sorry. Uh, so put down the Hall Lucha. Own our turn. Let's see what we get here. So there's a Computer Surge. Computer Surge will guarantee us the knockout. So Computer Surge discard a 1 and 2. Grabbing a DCE. Okay, well that's a problem. So we'll grab a Focus Sash. <laughs> All right. Um, wow. Okay. So. Hmm. We prize our other DCE. That's the problem right now. All right. So we'll Focus Sash this Don Fan. Put down a Robo Sub. Put a strong energy in this guy and play a chorus. We're not gonna deck out, so we're fine here. Alrighty, so we will retreat to this Don Fan, put a choice spin on it, and spinning turn for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven. Ninety, what am I doing? Four? <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we don't have the uh the fighting stadium out, duh. Alright, so we'll see, we'll see. I mean, we get a spinning turn to knock out this Espeon. If he sends this Espeon, we can then wreck it for a knockout. Okay. Oh. All right. So Skyla is going to get any card out of this deck again, or any training card. Let's see what he grabs here with this Skyla. It's been a weird matchup for sure. So there's a Max Potion. Oh, baby. All right. So he can um, Side Beam for the, for the knockout on our Robo Sub. Okay. All right. So Max Potion, the active healing all the way up. There's an energy switch, energy from the bench to the active, okay. And we'll see side beam for 30, okay. So let's think about, <laughs> my robo stuff's confused. <laughs> All right, so on our turn, what can we do here? So if we wreck, we do 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We'll be short, unfortunately. So I'm a Karina, and with a Karina, I'm gonna grab a stretcher. That's pretty much all we can grab here. So grab a stretcher. We'll shuffle three back in our deck. Okay. So shuffle one and two. Um. Well, I guess we will retreat into a Dawn fan. And we'll spin turn. And send those hollow joke, okay? So do a 90. Onto our opponent's turn. We still can't even knock it out. Unless we hit a, another strong energy, which I think there's one left in the deck. One, two, three. How many Robo Subs have we played? Just one. There's a VS Seeker for a Skyla. Are we gonna see another Max Potion here? It's like a, it's like a like we're playing Sylveon, but it's not Sylveon, and he's attacking us. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. There's a Sycamore going to his hand. Okay. I mean, we can go for Wreck this turn, but if we go for Wreck, this Espeon will do some damage to us. So on our turn, ooh, we get a Fighting Stadium, uh, which will allow us to take a knockout now. Yes, all right, so Fighting Stadium coming down. We'll be able to retreat into the Don Fan, and we'll be able to Spinning Turn for the actual knockout. So yeah, we'll Spinning Turn for the knockout. Um, it doesn't matter. Both Hollow just have the same amount of damage, so we'll Spinning Turn. No. No, he's not, he's only an EX. He's not a um. I forget. I forget. I forgot. Oh man, Dolphin's so bad. Okay, so Sycamore discard a Town Flame. Okay, does he find another Max Potion Energy Switch? What is happening right now? I don't know. I don't know, guys. All right, does he find a Max Potion? If he doesn't find a Max Potion, um, he has to commit Energy. No, he can just retreat to this guy. But if he treats this guy, we can take a knockout with a wreck. Alright. That is the plan. It's to wreck him. And then hopefully when we wreck, we find another DCE. Or anything. We still take six prize cards. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see. We'll see. We got this, guys. Don't worry too much. Um, so there's a Psyche energy going to this bitch, Espeon, GX, and we'll see Psybeam for the knockout, which is great for us, because what we could do is we could save this Dawn fan. Alrighty, so on our turn, we get a Fighting Energy, so I'm going to Fight Energy on this bench Dawn fan, and I'm just going to spin a turn for the knockout, going down to four prize cards, we'll send up the Halucha, okay, so there's a wreck for 90, going down to four, so one and two. 
We find a Robo Substitute and a Tapu Lele. Alright, Robo Substitute's good. Lele's good. We can grab Lysander. And onto our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. The only unfortunate thing. Okay, there's a Mewtwo coming. Okay, Mewtwo hit the field. There's a Max Luxor. What is going on here? Alright, so. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm scared. I'm so scared right now. Um. I really don't want to drop the top of your Lele, to be honest. In all honesty, I do not want to drop the top of your Lele. So, Psychic like Energy going down. Okay. Hmm. We get Anim down to two and wreck him. How many fighting stadiums we played? We played two fighting stadiums. Okay, that'll be our last one. Whoa. <clears throat> but when we take a knockout here, okay, so energy switch. Okay, we're we gonna see it. He could have just side beam here for the knockout. Oh, he's got the Lysander. Oh, baby. Oh, man, we're in trouble now. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so uh, go take a knockout here, go down to two. Oh, my goodness. All right, so send up Hallucha. Okay, on our turn, we will put down Robo Sub. Um, we'll put a Fighter Gym Halucha, and we'll play an in, putting him down to two. That's fine. Yep, that's that's a okay with me. He's gonna play two VS Seeker, so we get in another Halucha. We could put that guy down, which is really good. All right, all right. Yep, we'll put down Halucha. We will retreat. Into a Dawn fan, and we will spinning turn for 60. Okay. So, next turn, we still can't take a knockout. Unless we find a strong energy. I don't know if there's a strong energy left. I'm not sure. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. But he, he needs a VS Seeker to get a prize card this turn, so that's good. Okay, we have two, both our Dolphins have Focus Sash on it, so he can't one-shot it. Here comes a Mewtwo. We might see a Shatter Shot. If he has an Energy Attachment, he can start getting ready for Damage Change, which is very scary. Um, Man. Retreat to Mewtwo. Alright, so let's see what he does here. What does he do? I mean, this is... How, okay, there's a Max Potion healing that Espeon on the way up. Okay, all right, so Max Potion Healing. Okay, so Shadow Shot for 30. We'll take a knockout. Not take any prize cards, okay. We'll send up uh, Halucha. Okay. Oh, no, our turn. We get a Fanfy. I don't care too much about the Fanfy. We're just going to treat into the Dawn Fan, and we are going to spin a turn. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It will do 90. And we get, uh, 80s. <laughs> all right, so he can most Shadow Shot for 60 here. What I'm scared of is if he finds a uh, double Psychic Energy. So is he Ultra Ball discarding a Silver Wrangle and a Mewtwo Spear Leaf, which means he can't Mega Evolve. All right, but no, he's still going to Mega Evolve here. He's still going to go for Mega Evolution. All right, but he's still at EX, so that's good for us. So on our turn, we get a Juniper. So we'll retreat into Donphan. We'll go for another spinning turn. Uh, send up the Halucha, okay. And next turn, we can knock it out. Now, if he hits a Juniper... Finds like a Shrine of Memories and an Energy and a Mega Turbo. Okay, there's a Dimension Valley coming out, but that's not going to matter. We still get Spinning Turn for the Knockout. And there's Psychic Infinity for 40. Okay. He has 50 HP left. Yeah, we get Spinning Turn for the Knockout. So, I'm going to put it on the... No, I'm not going to put it on the Fanfy. That's a Lysander target. So, Retreat. Spinning Turn again. Send it to Halucha. Go down to two. Oh, my goodness. All right, go down to two price cards. One and two. We find a DCE and a Choice Band. Alrighty, so here comes the Espeon. We're still not, we still don't have the game just yet. There's a Psychic in the active. We'll see Spike Beam for 30 damage. Okay. Alright, so sit up the Halucha. Oh no, our turn. Okay. Find a Lysander. It's not going to help us. Because Wreck does 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, yep, yeah, so. What we're gonna do is retreat into the Dawn Fan. Spinning turn for 60. Send into the Dawn Fan. And just see what does he have here. Alright, so on our opponent's turn. Does he have a VS Seeker? Does Psychic Energy active? Psychic will not take a knockout. And there is the side beam that will confuse us, but we can take a knockout with a rack. So we'll put a DC on this guy. And we actually deck out here, but we will retreat. Oh my goodness, hold on. We don't have enough energies. Oh my goodness. 
All right, so we'll have to put down a Fanfy. We'll play an N. Yes. <laughs> what do we do here? Um. So we had to go for a spinning turn, right? Yeah, we have to spinning turn. If we if we flip heads, I don't even know. All right, so spinning turn. And it's tails. We heard ourselves a confusion will knock us out. He'll take this game. Oh my goodness. That's just how bad Dolphin is right now, guys. So there's a trainer spell. He can just like it. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's enough for a knockout. <laughs> I forgot he has a 3 retreat cost. Oh, he has a yeah, he has a 4 retreat cost. Not even a 3 retreat cost. And that's just why Dolphin's not good and expanded. There's so many GX cards. Oh, Lucha can't do stuff to GX. Fighting Stadium can't do stuff to GX. And oh my goodness, that's just that was just maybe I played it wrong. I don't know. But there we go. There's Don Fan. So if you want to play expanded Don Fan, don't do it because there's so many bad matchups for you. Oh my goodness gracious, that was so funny. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. That was a really weird matchup. It was like a Sylveon, but an Espeon kind of deck. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday. Alrighty, bye. Alright guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.